Hello everyone and welcome back yet again to the Drivers Room Acelet Design Endurance Championship. This is Season 1 Round 4 Tier 3. Today we are at the biggest layout of uh, Kyoto, the Yamagiva Miyabi uh, 2 variation. So the biggest uh, layout of uh, Yamag uh, Kyoto. I'm your host Kimaru. And uh, let's get down to uh, the grid, see how uh, and where people qualified in today's Group 4 race. Starting off in pole, we have uh, Old Spice or Diesel, Comrade Mitzos, Johnny Hodgson, uh, First Time I'm Asking Spice or uh, Britain is Bit, TX141. Glover Barnett, Lorcas, KLS1, Frogman, Jamie Balding, and uh, Nightmare Racer, and Molorex, or Rex, for short. Alright, let's see how everyone went on in today's race. All right, we're about ready to get this show started. Let's see how everyone gets off the line. And uh, Diesel will probably be uh, the worst starter on the field because of the uh, front wheel drive system. We're off on round four. And yeah, just look <laughs> at the Ferrari and uh, McLaren and even the NSX of uh, uh, First Time I'm Asking Spice. As we see... Uh, Diesel has dropped two positions now to Mitzos and Johnny. Maybe Johnny 5. That could be his call sign. Here's John. So, Johnny uh, in first, followed by Mitzos, followed by Diesel. Diesel going for the move on the inside into the hairpin. Whoa! He's able to... Oh, a little bump there from uh, both of them. No harm, no foul, and Johnny moves the current up to P1 again. Diesel in the second, just trying to uh, get those front tires to dig into uh, the tarmac. Let's take a look down the field and just see if everyone has gotten through cleanly as we see Nightmare Racer on the inside of Jamie. KLS1 and Rex in the back. As we come back to the lead for the very first lap, we see still the trio of uh, cars. Johnny, Old Spice and Mitzos. And uh, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit calming or uh, a little weird. Uh, yeah, my voice is... Uh, a little slow today so my apologies as we see Johnny and Diesel now moving away from the rest of the field grabbing themselves a little bit of a gap down to uh, Mitzos and so his tires are probably falling off don't look like it but uh, yeah we're gonna stay with these two for a little bit little moment oh as we see diesel going very wide out of uh, DS hits the grass hits the wall let's uh, let's hope he didn't get a penalty from that doesn't look like it and Johnny got a penalty from that and he wasn't that wide huh. as we uh, come up to start lap two we see Mitzo still chasing down uh, diesel and uh, and Johnny, as we see, Lorcas has a big pack of cars behind him in Britain's Spit. Tenant Frog and Glover Barnett. Jamie has moved up in front of Nightmare Racer. Nightmare Racer in the uh, Hyundai GR4. It's a couple of Hyundais in uh, Season 1 at the GR4. We haven't seen uh, the Hyundai a lot. But it is here. And Kalos in uh, back there trying to uh, challenge Nightmare. Let's 
see how uh, Mike do that McLaren can be versus the uh, Hyundai. I think the Hyundai has a pretty good uh, acceleration to uh, the other cars next to him. As we see, Molrex has been off. As I've said in the previous videos, he is probably just trying to find his uh, pace find his uh, rhythm in uh, these uh, races and tier 3 isn't all that slow but uh, yeah it is difficult to uh, get the job done as we see Johnny still in the lead in front of Diesel Diesel's just trying to get those fronts to dig in deep and uh, to push him along Front wheel drive is probably not the very best car for this track because of the uh, front left tire wear. I can speak from experience after uh, the race in uh, tier 2. Yeah, front tire wear is quite bad on uh, this track because of uh, all of the uh, right turns as we see here. Lorcas has uh, gained a position over uh, Mitzos and we see uh, first time I'm asking Spice right on Mitzos' heels will Mitzos be able to hold off that mighty NSX in the back in the mighty Aston trying to hold off uh, the Ferrari with brute British muscle oh and he just pushes Mitzos a little bit wide as we see uh, Britain Smith is right on Mitzos' heels just trying to look for a way through the Ferrari and the Aston First time I'm asking, Spice has been uh, unfortunately struck with a lot of bad luck lately. But uh, let's hope that doesn't put a big stopper in his uh, um, plans for a promotion into Tier 2. Mitzos is really on the chase for uh, third. Look at these three cars, not a lot separating them at the moment. As we see uh, Diesel in the front still trying to uh, get himself up into first. Very good on Johnny for uh, keeping McLaren in front. McLaren does lack the uh, bit of top speed. Just a fun fact, uh, a race in St. Croix in it was season three in uh, GR Force. Uh, we had our uh, Mr. Muller said to me, "Just uh, go past me. I am going into the pits on the very next lap." Oh yeah, I tried the McLaren, and him in the front wheel drive, McGann. Which one of us got first? Uh, Muller just raced away. That's the strength of the uh, front wheel drives. Yeah, go ahead. And I tried, but not enough power. As we see, uh, Lorcas is uh, getting away from uh, Mitzos and Brit. As we see, Brit going on the inside of Mitzos. Mitzos losing yet another position. He is down all the way into fifth. As we see, uh, Brit now finally up in the fourth and can start the chase for third as we see uh, oh ooh, wait 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 what happened taking a look back with uh, Mitzos and Brit what in the world happened we these two did uh, oh Mitzos forgot his brakes too focused on uh, the rear end of Brit and uh, 
Yeah. A uh, little bit of a rookie maneuver from Mitzos there. And they've lost two positions now. Down to Frog and Glover. Oh, Brett's got to be furious in that helmet right now. I'm sure a lot of uh, naughty words are uh, coming out. And uh, Mitzos just needs to find his cool. Find his groove, head down, full focus, and wow, look at the front left of Mitzos' tires. It's only been four laps. Jeez. So we see Kayla still trying to chase down uh, the guys in front. Nightmare Racer has been left in the dust. Nightmare has gotten ahead of uh, Jamie, though. Rex up into 10th and Jamie all the way down into 11th. And look at the tires of the Viper. Oh. Those tires are shredded already. The Viper is my favorite car in the world, but god damn, that car is a tire killer. Oh, as we see Jamie just tapping the inside of uh, Rex's rear end. see some battling from these two but I think Jamie has spun it possibly considering he's this far uh, down in the field and uh, these two are still battling and uh, there's just not enough Diesel isn't in the slipstream yet Lorcas looking to have a very lonely race as we see uh, Barnett Britney Spit has gotten ahead of Frog. As we see Frog, is he going for a move on the inside? Whoa, don't do the pit maneuver. Britney Spit will never forgive you. He's going to send rocket launchers to your door and uh, make you eat some rockets for breakfast. Trust me, it isn't fun. Little uh, pun and joke from Grand Theft Auto. I've eaten a lot of rockets for breakfast. Trust me, it isn't fun. As we see, uh, Mitzos also trying to get himself past uh, Frog. Frog just closes the door into the hairpin. It is, yeah, hairpin. or first time of Atkins Spice has taken up the fight to uh, Glover. Glover in, sadly, the um, GT86, which is a good car in uh, handling circuit on handling circuits, quite strong handling circuits. But then again, this is also a little bit of a power circuit, and you need a lot of power in uh, a few of the sections. And that's sadly where the uh, GT86 lacks uh, the the grunt it actually needs like in this section over here where there is a lot of power needed and uh, Glover just doesn't have enough of it and we see Britness bit just uh, passing Glover with ease or Glover no Glover sticking to the inside Glover Britness bit going for the cutback will he no doesn't look like he has enough Going for the inside move into the S's and oh, he makes the move stick. Very, very beautiful move from uh, first time I'm asking Spice. It's gonna make the uh, team boss of M4R Racing very, very happy. I'm looking at you, Mr. Plux. As we see Johnny Hudson, Diesel, and Lorcas in the pits already after lap five. Uh, Diesel is not willing to let uh, Johnny go. Lorcas being passed by Britain's Spit there, but Britain's Spit does have to go into the pits within the next few laps. Let's hope Lorcas can get past safely and uh, not do another punt into the grass move like uh, uh, Mitzos so unfortunately did to Britain's Spit. 
accidents do happen. It's all in the heat of the moment. A lot of uh, stuff can happen in a race. And uh, always expect the uh, unexpected. Diesel still not close enough to do anything about uh, Johnny. And we have Glover still in front of uh, Frog. This must be infuriating for Frog. He just can't uh, get the McLaren ahead of that uh, slow Yota. I know uh, the slow Yota has a lot of fans, but uh, yeah, the slow Yota just. Uh, is a cork in the bottle right now and still manages to uh, stay a good gap ahead of Frog for the moment. And the handling and the exit speed of that Toyota should uh, bring him further away from Frog. See Mitzos all the way down into seventh now. Tires are not doing uh, the Ferrari any favors on this track. Kalos in eighth, trying to uh, reel in that uh, McLaren power. Jamie in ninth, still trying to find his rhythm in uh, the uh, championship. Rex in uh, tenth, and he's put on a set of mediums. So he's going for the long stint. And uh, coming back with Johnny and Diesel. We have uh, Diesel still on the hunt for P1. He doesn't want to uh, let go of Johnny one bit. I'm thinking Diesel is just waiting for the opportune moment to uh, get himself past uh, Johnny. Diesel, also a member of the uh, M4R crew. Lorca's in third, still ahead of uh, Britain Spit. Britain Spit still staying out on. Uh, wow. Those tires are uh, completely wasted, but uh, with the incident of him and Mitsos, he has decided to stay up for uh, a few extra laps to in, uh, increase his stint. Make sure his stint. Uh, goes as long as possible and uh, try to make up a few uh, places from that and uh, Glover is also catching up to uh, Britain Spit now Britain Spit should really go into the pits and get those tires changed it's starting to look critical as we see uh, Glover Staying safely ahead of Mitzos at the moment. And uh, oh, yeah, Frog has actually dropped down one position, and Mitzos is up into sixth. So much action right now, or uh, a lot of it to, uh, you know, get lost in translation. Kalos. Back to the leaders, and uh, we see Britain spit into the pits finally. Lorca's in third still. We have Glover now, and Mitzos in front of uh, Britain spit. Frogman in sixth. Britain spit coming out just ahead of uh, Kalos. Frog 
stays on increasingly worn tires. The uh, bit should be able to make his cell himself uh, make himself a way up into the field. Oh, my words are losing me again. <laughs> As we see Mitzel's passing uh, Glover. Glover not uh, able to keep Mitzel's behind. Ferrari uh, does have a lot more power in uh, the uh, drivetrain than uh, the slow Yoda. And uh, I think this is the closest battle on track for the moment, so we'll uh, stay with these two for uh, a few laps. Let's take a look and see if uh, Diesel can actually make himself a way through uh, Johnny. I think Diesel might have the run on uh, Johnny right now. Could be happening. Ladies and gents, I think Diesel could be able to take on. Look at how close he is into the S's. Will we see an overtake? Oh, ultimately, Old Spice backs down a little bit. Still hasn't given up. Oh, and it looks like Johnny had a bad exit out of the uh, last S. Goes very wide into the last turn. And uh, Diesel takes him on uh, the last corner. Very nice overtake from Diesel. He should be able to uh, to just uh, run away with the, uh, uh, dare I say, cheatingly uh, strong uh, Audi engine. But uh, Johnny hasn't given up. Is he trying to go for a move into the uh, chicane? Oh, and there's, there's a lot into that. Loses a lot of ground up to uh, Diesel. Which will be uh, able to uh, use that to his advantage. Try to get Johnny away from the slipstream. ahead of uh, Glover still and uh, Frog coming back on lap 12 we have Diesel down in second place there has been another pit stop so uh, I don't think Johnny's been into the pits yet his tires look increasingly more worn Diesel has more fuel in his tank, so he's probably taking on a little bit of uh, more Bam Bam juice. Lorca's is all by himself. Must be uh, feeling very lonely in this race today. Brit and us bit still trying to chase down, uh, chase down uh, Lorca's. We have Mitzos just ahead of uh, Glover, but this is something we didn't mention about the slow Yoda. It is insanely strong in the slipstream, and it can follow quite close. And that's one of the strong suits for the uh, GT86. It does have a good ability to follow in the slipstream, as long as uh, Glover can keep it on track, and he is now out of the uh, slipstream. Frogman still trying to reel in that uh, mighty McLaren. Very good, very fun car to drive. And uh, yeah, you have to uh, gear it quite uh, low to get the most out of the uh, RPMs. Kalos in 8th, we have Jamie in ninth. We have had a retiree in uh, Nightmare Racer. Rex in 10th, in uh, sadly the uh, GTR. GTR is a car I just had for one season in uh, Drek, as it was called before. And uh, I switched that car out quite fast because of uh, its front tire wear. Very, very bad on its front tires. Possibly even worse than the. Uh, 
trunk with drives. Johnny still in first ahead of uh, Old Spice, but Old Spice is catching up. Lorcas still alone on track. He hasn't seen uh, the rear end of any car for a long while. And just uh, trying to keep his nose out of trouble. Get the uh, sweet, sweet points. Britmus bit still trying to extend his stint. And uh, keep himself ahead of uh, Mitzos, Glover and Frog. As we hear the mighty roar of the Ferrari engine in the back, Britney Smith has gone into the pits and comes right out. He's still ahead of Frog and right behind Glover and Mitzos. and Glover will probably have to go in within the next few laps as we come back to Diesel and Johnny and uh, they've been close like this all race and uh, haven't been a lot of difference between their paces and uh, yeah they uh, they just uh, have stuck together like glue the glue boys Mitzos keeping the Ferrari under control. Oh, and we see Frogman going very wide into the hairpin. Oh, wow. Little laps of focus, little laps of concentration. Come on, Frogman. Keep your head down. Keep it cool. Mind your own race. Don't think about catching up to the others. It will come. Just, uh focus on your own race and uh, you will gain positions hopefully kill us also a man like Lorcas hasn't seen the rear end or front end of any other car in uh, quite a long while Jamie still also trying to find his uh, pace and uh, place in uh, the uh, EDEC championship. As we see Johnny into the pits. And Diesel moving up into first. Diesel will have to go into the pits in a few short laps as we see Mitzos into the pits now comes out behind Britness Bit Britness Bit is right on uh, the uh, rear end of Glover trying to find his way through Bit goes on the inside of Glover into the hairpin, moves himself up into fourth. Beautiful and nice respective racing from uh, both of these gentlemen. Good move from uh, first time of asking Spice. But Glover hasn't given up though, he's right on uh, Brit's heels. But just look at this. This is the power of the NSX versus the uh, Slow Yota. And here is where uh, the Slow Yota will have its strength in uh, the uh, turns. But Brit does have ultimately a little bit more speed as we see Glover going very wide into the grass 
and get a lot of uh, dirt on his tires. It's going to take a few uh, corners to shake off. And uh, look at the front uh, left. He can't keep the same speed as uh, Britain's bit. We see uh, Mitzos there with the screaming Ferrari in the back. We have Diesel into the pits. Where does he come out? He does actually come out behind Johnny. And that looks like uh, Diesel took on a lot of fuel too. And we have uh, Lorcas still alone in third. We have Britain's bit now in clean air. And. Uh, very much alone on track. Mitzos trying to catch up to uh, the NSX. Glover comes out in sixth as we have Frog in uh, seventh. And look at the front left. Holy crap. He's taking that left tire to a barbecue. Oh, and we have KLS1. What happened to KLS? Did he just go wide out in the grass? Oh, oh! And an invisible wall just sent his car spinning. Thanks a lot, Gran Turismo. Coming back on lap 19, we have Diesel and Johnny still fighting. And uh, Johnny will have to go into the pits very shortly. As they're uh, moving up on what I believe to be Rex. And uh, Diesel and Johnny have been close all friggin' race. So amazing to see. Very close, respectful racing uh, between these two. We have uh, the Sigma and uh, the uh, oh, and Rex just slows down. Let's take a look. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is a beautiful camera angle right there. And let's see, the cameraman is uh, on drugs. As we see Johnny going very deep into the uh, last turn. Will he go into the pits this time? I think he needs some fuel. Oh, yeah. 2% left in the tank. <laughs> Holy crap, you made that close, Johnny. And Diesel will have to do everything in his power right now to uh, get a good lap, good last lap, and then go into the pits one last time. Do the undercut or overcut, however you see it and uh, try and uh, get himself in, uh, in first, win the race. He has to drive like no other thing in the universe right now. He has to dig down deep, find every ounce of uh, right lines he can just to uh, stay himself ahead of Johnny. I'm uh, probably screwing up everything I'm saying right now, but he has to do everything he can to uh, get on in front. He'll probably have to bring it on a little bit of fuel on the car. Not too much. If he has enough for about six laps, it couldn't be more than four or five more laps in, uh, in this race. And then he uh, should be good towards the very end. Diesel isn't too far behind. Uh, Johnny isn't too far behind, I mean. And uh, Johnny doesn't have a long way up. Let's uh, look at the live timings. 10 seconds up to uh, Old Spice from Johnny. 
So, uh, Diesel will have to time this correctly. He will have to go in now, not to uh, lose too much time. Almost 10 minutes remaining of the race. Maybe we'll see some more bumper-to-bumper -bumper action from Diesel and Johnny as we see Mitzos in front of Britain's Pit. This is probably not a place where Britain's Pit wants to be. He wants to get ahead of uh, Mitzos as soon as possible. And uh, Mitzos is on uh, worn tires. Maybe uh, Britain's Pit has uh, readied up his uh, machine guns. Miniguns, Uzi, Uzis, and uh, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, ready to pounce. If Mitzos does one little mistake, he is pushing that launch button, that's for sure. As we see Diesel into the pits, where does he end up? He ends up right in front of Johnny. Will Johnny have enough power now to keep up with the uh, powerful Audi? Front wheel drive, we'll come back to these two later as we see Mitzo still staying ahead of Britain Spit. Britain Spit still trying to find a, oh, find a way through Mitzo's defense. Glover into the pits. We have Rex there just parking it before the chicane. Very, very good, Mr. Rex. Not in a battle with anyone, so just slow down and let them uh, through. Not any point of uh, keeping uh, two faster, very faster drivers ahead of you or behind you. Frogman into the pits with 4% of fuel left in the tank, and he's tortured yet another set of tires. Wow. And uh, Mitzos just trying and trying and trying to find a way to stay ahead of uh, Britain's bit. Brit is so, so close. Just one little mistake and uh, first time I'm asking Spice will get ahead of him. That NSX isn't a slouch. Oh, as we see Mitzos going very wide. Got some dirt on his tires now. Britt just needs to find a little kink in the armor. Psych out Mitzos. We're just gonna take a quick look to uh, Johnny and Diesel. No fighting between them. We're coming back to uh, Mitzos and Britt. Britt's just doing taking different lines just to try and find a way through different lines to uh, get the car out of the uh, dirty air and possibly uh, jump Mitzos as well on uh, one of the straights and I'm uh, starting to speak so fast that uh, I'm starting to uh, get confused in what I'm saying Brit is right in the slipstream of Mitzos. Will he have enough? No. Mitzos just closes the door into turn one. Goes very wide out of turn one. Has the inside into the chicane. Brit just uh, backs it off. Will he have enough to go on the inside into uh, the hairpin though? Like he did with Glover earlier in the race. Oh, as we see, Mitzos going very wide into the hairpin. And uh, Britain's bit just uh, casually getting himself back into fourth. And we'll uh, try and do everything he can now just to stay ahead. And we saw Mitzos engage a little bit of a lag switch. Mitzos on the inside. Brit just narrowly closes the door. Oh! And Mitzos is almost out of fuel. Will he have enough fuel to the end? I doubt it very much. We have six more minutes until this race is done. And 
And uh, I think uh, first time I've asked Spice has this one in the bag. He has enough fuel, he has enough tires to the end. But Mitzos' fuel is running low. I don't think he has enough to finish the last few laps. I do think he has to uh, go in for one final pit stop. Just a little uh, bit of a splash and dash, maybe a little bit of a gadget. A gadget is what we call it when you think you have enough fuel, but you really don't, and you go in for a liter or two. Just a splash and dash, so I call that move a gadget. Glover Barnett in sixth. We have Frogman in seventh. Still, uh, yeah, just on his second lap now from uh, his pit stop, and uh, he's already. Uh, murdering his uh, front left. Kellas shouldn't need any more fuel or yeah his fuel is definitely good to the end. He shouldn't need any more tires. Jamie has uh, stayed out of trouble. He's gonna grab some points and uh, move on to the next one. Let's hope uh, Jack can give his little brother a little bit of advice and uh, a tip on how to become as fast as himself. As we see Mitzos right ahead of Rex and uh, Rex slowing it down. Just trying to find his uh, place in uh, the uh, championship. As we see uh, Glover coming up on uh, Rex. Britain's pit has uh, started flashing his fuel gauge, but uh, the fuel should be good towards the very end, so you shouldn't really have to worry about that. Lorcas, what can we say about this man? He has just stayed out of trouble, and uh, from my previous experiences with Lorcas, it has been a very big honor to be able to race a very clean man such as this. He uh, is a very strong uh, battler, he can give you anyone a good fight once they uh, challenge him and he gets challenged. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a pleasure to race against a clean driver such as this. Johnny, sadly, I don't have a lot of experience with this man, but from the looks of it, he is an insanely fast driver. And uh, the future is very bright for this man. Same with Old Spice. They both have very promising futures in ADEC. And will probably be able to challenge the Tier 1 boys in a few seasons. But beware, gentlemen. Tier 1 does have the uh, notoriously hated uh, uh, heavy damage. So uh, keep that in mind. I'm saying that because I'm pretty much against the heavy damage, but that's just me. It is uh, more or less Polyphony's fault for not uh, coding the uh, system correctly. And uh, that's just uh, my opinion. But yeah, the uh, damage model is quite wonky in uh, Gran Turismo Sport. So we have uh, Britain Spit in fourth. I don't think he's going to be able to uh, make a dent in Lorcas' uh, position or uh, gap. There's just It's just too far away and not enough laps, not enough, not enough time to make a dent. Mitzos, uh, yeah, he will probably uh, end up in fifth would not be able to uh, catch Britain Spit right now. Glover has had a pretty uneventful race in sixth. He's just kept his head down and uh, done his own race. Frogman is on his mission to uh, torture those uh, poor fronts. Kalos has been into the pits to uh, grab some new tires in the end. Jamie Balding, still uh, trying to stay out in the uh, 
very uh, unruly front uh, tire wear killer uh, Viper and Rex as we said before trying to find this uh, way in the championship probably take a season or two and uh, he'll be up to speed with the rest learn by doing as we see Diesel in a very commanding lead at the moment don't think Johnny will be able to do much and Johnny's tires have gone off a bit more than uh, Old Spice's tires at the moment and I think Diesel is going on his very last lap and Johnny has finished in second very good job from uh, Johnny and Diesel Diesel is going for his uh, uh, winner lap. Lorcas ending up in third. Very good uh, race from Lorcas. Britain Spit has had a few incidents and uh, not the best race of his season or the cal calendar, but uh, nevertheless, good points to uh, bring home in the fourth. We have Comrade Mitzos in fifth. Very good drive from Mitzos albeit a little bit of a clumsy move into the hairpin but it happens to the best of us Glover Barnett in sixth and we have Frogman coming home in seventh and uh, is starting on the downhill S's very good track this but unfortunately the uh, tire wear is uh, the insane on uh, on uh, Kyoto as we see Frog just uh, losing all focus and concentration and slamming into the wall. One final turn to go for uh, Frog. Very well done for uh, Frog. Kalis coming on to uh, finish in eight. Decent points hole for Kalas and Jamie just also trying to find his pace and rhythm in the championship. Diesel has done a remarkable job in uh, the front wheel drive Audi TT. Personally, I am a little bit of, uh, against the uh, front wheel drives right now because it's basically the uh, leaderboard car to choose. And... Uh, yeah, in dailies and FIAs, it is a plague, but uh, it isn't a car that is picked by many in the ADEC championship, so it's good to see the front wheel drives out, but it's good to see that not a lot of people are actually using them. Thank you all for watching, and come back next week for the race at Red Bull Ring in the Group 3 machines. It could be wet could be dry. Thank you all for watching and uh, this is Kimaru signing off. So here we are. We have Johnny Hodgson in uh, first place with 95 points. And we have Diesel in second with 85. Britney Spit in third with 63 and Lorcas in fourth with 43. So that was four rounds. We're halfway through uh, the championship. And uh, yeah, it's going to get all exciting. Next week, we have uh, a race at the Red Bull Ring. Could either be a uh, wet or dry race in the Group 3 machines. So look forward to that, and we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.